humanity is to indeed live long and prosper, we must one day escape it. This compounded by the fact that in five billion years, the sun will turn into a red giant, making life on Earth impossible, means that our days as a single planet species are numbered. The challenge of escaping our planet mainly lies in overcoming the force of gravity. To do this, your spacecraft must travel fast enough, about eight kilometers per second, at such an angle that the curvature of the Earth falls away from you at the same rate as you are falling toward it. Do this 150 kilometers above my head and you can achieve low Earth orbit. Getting to orbit largely depends on your value of delta V, which is a measure of your spacecraft change in velocity as a result of its fuel being burned and turned into energy to produce thrust. This energy conversion reaction must be controlled in such a way explode or crash. In the 60 years since Sputnik, one machine has proven to be the most adept at doing this, negative potential energy conversion machines, more commonly known as rockets. This is a model of the Ariane 6 multi-stage rocket. It's one small step in rocket ability, one giant leap for the European Space Agency, due to launch in 2020. She's got two stages that allow her to get a payload of 5,000 kilograms into space. That's about 23,000 Big Macs, or 50 feminists and one Donald Trump, for a single communications surveillance satellite. And this is how she does it. First, insert feminists and Donald Trump, of course. We launch eastwards near the equator to get a gravitational assist from the Earth's rotation, like a form of giant planetary catapult. Minus four, three, two, one, main engine start. The main stage of Ariana 6 comprises of two solid rocket boosters that ignite upon liftoff alongside the main engine to produce millions of newtons of force propelling the craft upwards to an altitude of 100 kilometers, nearly the edge of space. The altitude we're aiming for is 160, the boundary of low Earth orbit. That's where the solid rocket boosters will disengage the explosive charge and the front part will come off, exposing our cargo to the cold blackness of outer space. The main engine will continue to burn for another 100 kilometer gain in altitude. We are now in low Earth orbit, where the ISS and Hubble Space Telescope live. And more than 200 kilometers above the surface of the Earth, the main engine will detach, leaving just the cargo and the upper stage to propel the craft to its final altitude where it too will attach, imparting on the payload all the acceleration needed to maintain its orbit. All this will happen sometime in three years. Somewhere from the coast of French Guyana and South America, Ariana 6 will take off, waking the Amazon to life as she ascends at speeds of several kilometers per second and going through that transformation in less time than an episode of the Big Bang Theory, minus commercials. But it's not such a sure thing, though. There exist many pressing world issues that compete for the resources it takes for Ariana to fly. But regardless of the challenges, a large part of the human future will no doubt take place in the great depths of outer space. And Ariana 6 is one step forward toward that future. Thank you. My name is Son of Terra 92, and I'll see you next time.